Hi, I'm Chris, also known as that French Blue. Have you ever taken your camera out of its bag after a few months and found that it has become all sticky? That it's not only unpleasant to touch, but that also everything sticks to it, like hair, pet hair, and dirt. In this video, I'm going to tell you how this happened, how to avoid being in such a sticky situation, and if you get into it, how you can deal with the issue. I'll tell you more after this. This has been happening since the end of the 80s. Camera makers started to use some rubbery coating to improve the feel of their cameras and also to make them easier to hold. Unfortunately, the products they use to do this can get sticky. They had plenty of time to solve the issue, but unfortunately, it's still happening on recent cameras. I'm not a chemist, so I'm not going to tell you what happened at Marie of all, but what I can tell you is that this is not to, due to a degradation over time. Some recent camera can become sticky, while a 40-year-old camera may be just fine. Why? Because this is a result of a chemical reaction that happens when the camera is not exposed to air. If you leave your camera in a camera bag, under your bed, or at the bottom of your wardrobe for months, chances are that it will get sticky when you take it out next time. But if you leave it on a shelf or in a cupboard that has plenty of hair, it will be just fine. So this is my number one advice to you. Use your camera bag to protect your gear when you're traveling, when you're going on site to shoot, but not to store your equipment at home. When you come back, if you think you're not going to use your camera for a while, or even if you don't, just by safety, take them out of the bag, take the camera, lenses as well can become sticky, take everything out and put it somewhere that is well aired. After all, camera is nice to look at. Some people use them as decoration, so why not use your gear like that too? It might collect some dust, but this is far easier to deal with than the sticky mess that can happen if you leave it in a bag. But what if it's too late? What if your camera is already turned sticky? Well, the good news is that there's several ways you can deal with this situation. The first one is the easiest, but it's also the longest, and it's not necessarily the most effective. You see, whatever chemical reaction happens when your camera turns sticky, because it's not exposed to air, can be reversed once you expose your camera to air again. So, if you take your camera and leave it on a shelf or anywhere where there's lots of air, your camera will become not sticky again. This sounds great, but there are a few issues with that method. First, it takes time. We are talking about at least a couple of months, sometimes six months to a year before it happens. You can still use your camera, but it will still be a bit sticky. And often, there is still some slight stickiness that is left. Some camera will just become fine again, some will stay a bit, tiny bit sticky. Not so bad, but you will remember that what happened to it. And the second issue is that even if your camera is fine after a few months, it's not sticking at all, it will still not look brand new. The goo that form on the top of the camera, it will still be there, it will just be hardened and it will not stick anymore, but it won't look that good. There is a better solution. You can use some chemical product to remove the gooey mess on your camera. I've tried in the past using products like this one that are sold to remove label and stickers. While they work very well to do this, they are not that effective in removing the goo from your camera. It takes lots of time and lots of hard work to do so, and often you're still left with something that is slightly sticky. No, what you want to use is a product like this one. This is sold in France under the name Gilbert anti-adhesive. And it's a product that is used by medical staff to remove the glue from plaster after they remove a plaster. So because of that, it's very really safe to use and the chemicals are, are quite soft. So they will not attack your camera, but they are extremely effective. I had this bottle for, I would say two years. And although it's almost empty, I use it on many, many, many cameras. So it's very good value for, for money as well. Okay, this is a French product. Uh, I'm not sure how available it is in your country, but I'm pretty sure if you go to your local pharmacist and ask for a product, 
that is used to remove the glue from a plaster, they will have something available. And you can also buy it from Amazon France if you want. I'll put the link in the description. So what I have here is a Lumix camera that has the issue on this side here and this side there. Uh, it's not sticking anymore, but you can see that it's been left with a kind of of glue that takes mark and uh, it really doesn't look good. And it will turn gooey again if it's locked in a bag. So to remove that, take the product and what you do is put it generously on a piece of paper towel like this. And you apply it and you rub it well into place and as you can see I hope you can see it but the the glue is transferring onto the paper okay you can see that here there's no glue anymore okay it's all good there it's back it's dirty it's not nice to do um, but it is incredibly effective. Look at that. Okay. I need some more product now. And here you go. In no time, you have a camera that looks really nice again. It will not look brand new because um, the rubbery material is all gone now. So it doesn't feel like it used to do, uh, but it still look much better. Sometimes if you have like paint with some inscription in it, it will go with it as well. Um, I mean, this problem is very common on, for example, the Nikon F90. And if you, on the back of it, if you do it on the back of a Nikon F90, it will remove all the inscriptions that are at the back. It will remove also all the rubbery material and you will be left with a nice and shiny back, which is not the original one, but it's still better than a gooey mess. As you've seen, once, once you know which product works, it's very easy to get rid of the issue. This product could cost less than 10 euros and you can use it for, for many cameras. So it's cheap and it's easy, so don't hesitate doing it. You will not regret it. That's it for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please press the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time.